This is my office, my home office. And like many people, they're um, making home offices. Everybody's now starting to work at home. So I wanna <clears throat> show you how to uh, keep a clean environment, how to disinfect, uh, how to clean the keyboard properly. Um, make sure everything's you know disinfected, try to have it clean as much as possible. But before I start showing you that, with cleaning that up, something really quick. If someone comes up to you and they want you to help out, you know, oh, can you, you know, help me out on this tablet here. Every, I, I always did this before too. I would touch it with my finger and it gets all, you know, the screen gets all messy and everybody touches it. Your best friend right now, and the best thing you could do is get a stylist. I bought this at the dollar store. This is just a basic stylist. So we'll get uh, working on the uh, cleaning up the keyboard, all right? Here we are, how to uh, properly clean your keyboard. First thing you wanna do, get some uh, disinfecting wipes, because you don't want liquid to go underneath the keyboard. You just wanna get a pan, especially the last few sheets. Um, there's too much liquid, so you, you, you don't want too much, it just, it has to be damp. And just wipe it out, like that. That should be done every time you finish using the keyboard. And of course, don't forget the mouse also. And one other item people forget is the connection USB. People touch it when they pull this out of the you know, PC and all that. Just wipe that out. There you go. Now that's just for every day. But if you want to do a complete cleanup, what you should do, if you haven't cleaned in a while, there's going to be a lot of dust. You don't see it, but it goes in between these keys. So just get a brush first, just wipe it out like that. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm Bob Ross over here. Wipe out the top part here, all right? Next thing you wanna do is blow out the um, dust that's under in the keyboard. I use a vacuum, the portable vacuum cleaners are very good because they got a reverse so you can blow the air out. So let's start with the vacuum cleaner. And if you don't have a vacuum cleaner, you can use a hair dryer, but make sure it's on on uh, cool, not on high. You don't wanna, you know, you don't want on a hot. You wanna get burned. Put on high. All right, and at the very end, uh, these air cans, they're expensive, so you don't wanna waste just blowing the top part. You can do that with a vacuum cleaner, but with this, it's a short thing, it gets really in between. See, there you go. That gets all the stuff that's underneath there the nooks and crannies so that's good okay now there's another problem that i see all the time and people do the wrong thing like in the morning you're drinking your coffee right and you're ready for the day and all of a sudden you spill it by accident the one thing everybody does instantly they run out to get some paper towels that's wrong don't do that as soon as you spill something on a keyboard don't run for paper towels Flip it upside down as fast as you can because you don't want that thing dripping inside the keyboard. Just leave the keyboard down like that and let, make sure everything just drips down. Let gravity do its thing. Um, give it a couple hours. Then you could bring it back up and then you could start, you know, wiping it up. And at this point, you can go back to the hair dryer and put it on warm. Dry it up. Just like that. Any drinks like soda has a lot of sugar. Sugar you have to worry about because it works its way in and it'll start <clears throat> corroding. Even if you clean it up, it'll start working. But after a while, the corrosion's still there. Your computer, the keyboard's gonna fail after a while. So I'll show you what to do to take out these keys and clean up the, you know, the sugar, the sticky stuff. So here we go. What you can do, they all snap in there just to get a screwdriver. You could pop out the keys. They all pop out. Just like that. This um, hand sanitizer. Put it in a cup and use a Q-tip because you don't want to get too much in there. And you start cleaning it up inside to get all that sugar out. Use the other part, the dry part. Wipe it up nice and dry. So you want to make sure. All right, so now when you clean that up, you just put them back in. They snap right in. These things are so simple and everything's working fine. Now, I could show you 
this is a MacBook keyboard. It's different and it, it you have to clean it different way. It's not the same as a PC. They're very thin, see? And you cannot take out the keys like on a PC. I thought you could. As you can see, I tried here. Yeah, it broke. You know, I broke it for science. I broke it for this video. So you don't have to make the same mistake. But as you can see, right about there, it's like a little hole. So you want to avoid, you know, you don't want to get liquids in there because it goes underneath where all the sicker circuitry is. Of course, you got to unplug the keyboard when you do this. You don't want to have it plugged in because it'll start messing on with the uh, commands. But, you know, same thing. You don't want to get too much liquid on there and that's pretty much what you could do you, there's nothing else you can't pop these up but always disinfect it now there's another hack i came up with um, this is good if you have kids in the house and you have to work at home so i came up with this idea so the kids don't um, you know, start screaming my name banging on the door so what i did was i put this uh, whiteboard up here in front of my computer here okay and i gave my kids this pen watch this so i got the door Here's my office door, I'll show you. It's a, it's a, there you go. It's a glass, it's a glass door and it's closed. So, so I have this whiteboard up here. There, so you can take a look at it. And when the kids want, you know, get my attention, I, each one has this, they press it. There you go. They put that up. So when they do that and I see that, I know my kids need me and there's no screaming, there's no hollering. I'm Batman.